We've already had a lesson where we made the path to this orange fish. And if I take the white arrow tool, which is the direct selection tool, and click here, you can see all the anchor points used to outline the fish. In this lesson, we're going to clean up the fish a little bit with spot healing, the spot healing brush, and we're going to make a layer mask. And to lay, make a layer mask in the shape of the fish, we need to make the fish path into marching ants. So that's the first thing we're going to do is make the fish into marching ants. You have to make sure it's selected, it's blue, in the paths panel. I'm gonna go here and click one, two, three from screen left in the paths panel. And now my anchor points and everything are marching ants. I can always get my path back. I've saved it, it's called orange fish. When I close this folder and open it again, it'll be there. So there's my marching ants. And I have, notice I have a backup copy here of the tank, of the fish tank, where the, it was a pretty big orange fish. I'm going to go to the layer mask icon in the layers panel. See the little thing that says add layer mask? Again, we're third from screen left. Click. And now you can't see the background. It's still there. If I hold the shift key and click the layer mask, it disables the layer mask. So that gives me a lot of room to edit any little bumps and bruises I might see on the fish. Right now though, I'm on the layer mask. See the frame? I'm going to go onto the fish and I'm going to clean up some of this stuff. So I think I will get the magnifying glass and zoom in a little bit. And over here is my spot healing brush. I'm going to, this brush looks like a decent size. I like to use hard edge brushes until the very end. I don't like to soften. I like to soften every edge together or else it looks weird. But did you see how magical that was? Look at down here, the green. Gone. Gone. I just love this brush on. One thing you must be aware of is content aware. That's what it's using. It's used for a few other things in Photoshop, but content aware looks at the pixels surrounding it and says, oh, that's what color this brown thing is supposed to be. It's supposed to be that nice bright orange. So I may have to the more you do it, the more you see that you have to do. It's one of those things. Um, around the, the mouth. There's some of this down here. So we're getting a nice orange fish. I see a few things. Oop, there's some green down there. Voila, just like magic. We don't need to use sample all layers because we're not doing a non-destructive uh, edit, which we'll do more of. Um, but one thing I want you to notice is because we're on this layer, it looks like we have an alpha channel, but we don't. You must notice it's italicized type. I'm, I should name this. I'm going to call this orange fish in tank. Now that's orange fish in tank. If I go to another layer, it disappears. If that was an alpha channel, it would stay there. We'll get to an alpha channel lesson. So now we've cleaned up a lot of the fish. There's a couple of things I want you to be very aware of though. I want to clean up some of the little bumps. It's just not where I want. I, I'm still in, in uh, the spot healing. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. Where's my zoom tool? There it is. Zoom in over here. See that little bump? I don't think that little bump's supposed to be there. So I'm on the fish layer because I've been using the spot healing. I need to be on the layer mask layer. You can use black and white. Here's this little arrow. Or you can hit the X key. I'm going to use black because I want to get rid of this bump, but I need to go to a brush. I want to make sure it's a hard edge brush, which it is, hardness 100%. And I'm just going to 
clean that up just a hair, just a tiny bit. There we go. And if I do too much, I can hit the X key and get white and bring a tiny bit back in. And now I see parts over here. See, so yeah, I could go back to the spot healing brush and Oops, undo. I didn't change. I forgot to leave the layer mask. Go back to the picture. Now I can spot heal. And I can spot heal again. I'm going to double click. I'm going to double click the hand tool to fit on screen. I see a few things. I'm going to get the spot healing brush and fix this fin down here. And that's pretty much spot healing turning a path into marching ants, and adding a layer mask. There you go. Thanks.